Hello students, today we will study unit number 3, Transformers. So in this video, we are going to understand one most important topic which is Auto Transformer. Now this topic has been asked for so many times in your university examination. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay, so this would be the last video based on unit number 3, Transformers. Because up till now, we have covered each and every topics based on unit number 3, Transformers. So now if you find any topic which is remaining, so you can comment it in my comment box so that we will study. Okay, so come to the Auto Transformer. So up till now, we have uh, studied about a single phase transformer and three phase transformers. And what we were saying that uh, over here, I will discuss that uh, it has one... Uh, primary winding or one primary coil say primary and it has one uh, secondary winding or you can say secondary coil say S and that primary winding is connected with uh, AC voltage input so that is your voltage input Supposing we are supplying the EMF or we can say we are supplying the voltage to that primary winding as EP and due to the mutual induction process what happens on the secondary side EMF is induced which is say ES. So across this two terminal we will get voltage output so that is our output side. So this type of transformers are known as conventional transformers. But we are talking about what auto transformer. So in the case of auto transformer, this type of two different different windings, primary and secondary windings are not used in the auto transformer. So in the auto transformer, only and only one winding is used. How? Let us see. So over here, I will draw only one winding as I told you. So that is a single winding. So over here one terminal, over there also one terminal. So across this two terminal we will supply the AC voltage. So that will be our input side. And we know very well that the input side is always connected with the primary winding. So input side is always connected with primary winding so students this is known as what primary winding having suppose n p number of turns okay now after that uh, we will take one more terminal over here and we'll take one wire and with the help of wire we will go for the tapping simply we will connect one wire over here so that is known as what that is known as tapping so across these two terminals, we will get voltage output. So we will say that is our output side. And we know very well that whatever output side is there, that is always connected with secondary winding. So whatever output side is there, that is always connected with the secondary side. So that is our secondary winding, only that much portion. So number of turn in secondary winding is suppose N. S. Now with the help of this uh, input AC source, supposing we are supplying potential to the primary winding which is EP and due to that in the secondary side suppose EMF is induced which is say ES. So that is our step down auto transformer. Now question may arise that why it is step down transformer. So simple answer is there that as we know that uh, EMF is directly proportional to number of turns. That means if number of turns you will increase EMF will also be increased. So over here you can see number of turns on primary side is more. So EMF is also more. That means on primary side I will say voltage is high. Similarly on the secondary side number of turns is less. EMF is also less. That means on secondary side voltage is low. So that transformer is doing what? That transformer is decreasing the voltage high to vo low voltage. That is why it is known as step down transformer. Okay. Now we will talk about tapping. Tapping means what? That tapping is done with the help of one switch which is known as rotary switch. Now that rotary switch 
will do what that that rotary switch will provide different different types of outputs on secondary side how supposing if i will done the tapping over here so what's happen number of turn now it is increased on secondary side if number of turn is increased potential will increased on the output side if i will go for the tapping like this so number of turn is decreased on the secondary side and if number of turn is decreased so emf is decreased that means rotary switch will do what it will increase and decrease the voltage at secondary side that means we are getting varieties of voltage at output side and which is not possible in the case of conventional transformers why because in the conventional transformer on the secondary side number of turns are fixed and if number of turns are fixed then induced emf on the secondary side is also fixed so that is the advantage of one auto transformer okay now one more thing is there that in the case of uh, conventional transformer whatever emf is induced on the secondary side that is due to what that is due to mutual induction process that already we have studied but in the case of auto transformer whatever emf is induced on the secondary side that is only because of self inductance and conductance means what that what we are doing actually we are simply taking one wire now that wire will we are connecting with this coil that means from this coil already current is flowing so that wire will do what it will conduct the current that is known as conduction and due to that conducted current what happen emf will induce at secondary site which is es which is known as self induction okay now whatever voltage that you are getting at output side that voltage you will supply to some appliances so for that purpose you have to, you will say that some to the load you are supplying this output voltage so that i will connect with one with one load that is suppose rl with one load i am connecting because it is output so that output voltage you will supply to any appliances or you can say load okay uh, now uh as i said that it is a step down transformer that means if it is a step down transformer then whatever voltage transformation ratio is there for the step down transformer that should be always less than 1 now we have studied about voltage transformation ratio in one video so voltage transformation ratio means what that uh, voltage transformation is ratio is a ratio of uh, secondary voltage by primary voltage into number of turn on secondary side by divided by number of turn on primary side we know potential is inversely proportional to current so es means ip primary current ep means is secondary current that equation we have already discussed okay now from the diagram what we can say that number of turn in primary side is high so can we write like this for the circuit diagram np is greater than ns okay ns is less and if np value is more than ns so that term will be less than 1 and if that term will be less than 1 so value of k would be less than 1 and if value of k is less than 1 then it is the case of step down transformer okay now we'll talk about step up transformer which auto transformer okay so uh, right now i realized one thing that i want to say that auto transformer doesn't means automatic transformer auto is a greek word so that word we are taking over here it is not automatic okay now we'll talk about step down transformer again for step down transformer it has only and only one winding so i will consider only only one winding okay after that we have one terminal over here now we'll take one wire and we will tap like this with the help of rotary switch okay so across this two terminal we will supply ac voltage that means that side will be our input side okay that side is our input side and we know very well that uh, input side is connected with primary winding so that input side is connected with what with primary winding having number of turns and p and with the help of this uh, ac source we are supplying the potential or emf to primary side which is ep okay now after that we will take this terminal and that terminal so across this two terminal what we will get we will get 
output voltage okay now you know very well that output side is always connected always output side is connected with this secondary side so that output side you are connecting with what with secondary side and having number of turns say n s on secondary side and due to mutual sorry and due to what <coughs> sorry self induction and conduction process what happen in this secondary side emf is induced which is es now whatever output that you are getting that you will connect with what with one uh, load resistance say r l now that is the case of what step up transformer uh, over here i will write step up transformer now question may arise that why it is step up transformer simple answer is that that uh, as we know emf uh, number of turn is high emf is high so over here number of turn is high emf is high that means on secondary side voltage is high and on primary side number of turn is less potential is less so it has low voltage so that transformer is doing what that transformer is increasing the voltage that means it is step up transformer now if it is a step up transformer then whatever uh, voltage transformation ratio is there which is k must be greater than 1 let us check how we know that voltage transformation ratio is what is the ratio of uh, secondary voltage to primary voltage number of turn in secondary divided by number of turn in primary potential is inversely proportional to current so primary current divided by secondary current okay now from this diagram can we say that number of turn on secondary side is greater than number of turn on primary side that means ns is more if ns is more than np ns is more than np np is less ns is more so value of this term will be greater than 1 and if value of this term is greater than 1 then i will say that k is greater than 1 and if voltage transformation ratio value is greater than 1 then what we are saying it is a step up transformer okay so uh, that is all about the construction and working of step up transformer so you can take the screenshot because r4 onwards we will discuss about advantage and disadvantages of this transformer so auto transformer has lots of advantages and in front of that it has only single disadvantage so let us try to understand first advantage is what less copper is used why because as we know in the auto transformer only single winding is used in uh, conventional transformers two winding means more copper over here single winding means less copper is used second advantage is what cost is low why cost is low because copper is less instead of two winding we are using one winding next size is less why size is less because instead of two winding we are using one winding okay then efficiency is more why efficiency is more because in the case of auto transformer there are no uh, flux leakage flux leakage means what that already we have studied about flux leakage also that due to the mutual induction process what happen whatever magnetic field lines are there among them say 80 percentage magnetic field line will pass through the core and emf is induced so over here this type of mutual induction process is not there that is self induction so flux leakage is not there so that is why maximum power you can transmit that's why its efficiency is more than the conventional transformer okay so only one disadvantage is there that there is no insulation between the supply and the load so there may be a chance of short circuit as supply and load both are directly connected supply means what i said one tapping is there directly connected with what load directly tapping so there may be a chance that short circuit may taken place okay so that is all about the that is a single disadvantage now these are the applications you can take this screenshot <clears throat> because that thing you have to remember and you should write in your examination okay so now after onwards we will uh, study new unit which is unit number 4 which is electrical machines so till then read hard work hard thank you very much